Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today, this is going to be a random haul of items that I have gotten over the last few weeks. So, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> we got some Bath and Body Works and some Victoria's Secret and a few items from uh, Marshalls. Okay. Hello and welcome, Glorious Gang. I'm so glad you're back with me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you participated in any of the sales that Bath & Body Works had, Victoria's Secret had, or any other shopping you've done for body care, fragrances, whatever, oil. Okay, so... I'm going to start with, um, these are Sand and Fog. It's called Inspired on the California Coast. It's um, two different perfume oil discovery sets. This one, I've used them and I spoke about them, but I didn't show them. So I used them when I was up training so this one it has a 15 mil and a 10 mil and i have a, two different packages this is the other package so i did put this one back together the way it's supposed to look they were 9.99 and this one came with the 15 mil of fleur vanilla this has lychee Orange Blossom, Rose, Ylang Ylang, and Vanilla. I remember that they all smelled good, but I can't remember what they smelled like. So, I'm going to put a little on. Yeah, this is like a fruity floral. It's sweet. Even candy-like. It's fruity. But it has enough sweetness to it where it could be candy-like. It's nice. I like it. It will be easy to layer with a fruity floral. So this one is Fleur de Vanille. And maybe that means a floral vanilla. I don't know. And this one is violet sandalwood this is a 10 mil the violet sandalwood has bergamot magnolia violet and cedar wood i put some of this on my hand like right here already because this one this rollerball is not working properly to let the oil come out. So I had to keep like popping the this thing out to get it to work. So this one, this violet sandalwood is much more floral than the other one. I'm just getting a lot of the floor. I guess the magnolia is coming out a lot. I'm not getting a lot of the bergamot or even the cedar wood. It's just floral, but it is nice. It'll be easy to layer with. So the next one and these are oils that you would have to wipe in. As you can see, it's still quite shiny. Can you see this one? Yep. Kind of. Quite shiny on my skin. Okay, so this one has a 15 mil of bloom. If I can get it out the package. 
So Bloom has black currant, orange, rose, strawberry, jasmine, and violet. That sounds really good, doesn't it? It's pretty. The citrus note is coming out in here and it has a sweetness. You're getting the floral. Very nice. All of these will be easy to um, layer with. I can't see it causing an issue for any fragrance that you might want to layer with. I played with them, but I haven't played with them since I've been back. Oh, it looks like I like this one the most. This way is down here. Maybe this was the one I kept picking up. Yeah. This one has a good bit out of it. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, the Fleur de Vanille actually has a brighter smell than the Bloom. The strawberry note is coming out in the blue, bloom. So the 10 mil is vanilla musk. This has coconut, anise, vanilla, and musk. It's sweet vanilla. And adds a bit of creaminess to it. It's nice. Yeah, I, I like all of these. So, if you see them in the store, I'll say try them out. I knew, I kind of knew I would like them because I have that pistachio one by Sand and Fog. And it's really good. So, I figured I'd just try them out and play with them. Okay, we're going to rub those in. <laughs> you can even probably mix and match them, and it'll just smell good. Okay. The coconut or the vanilla musk is nice and sweet. It has a creamy sweetness to it, that vanilla musk. Okay. So that's that. I have all kind of stuff in front of me here because I'm setting up for or trying to set up for a different video. Okay, so I did stop at the outlet when I was coming home from up north. And I got four items here. I want to say I no five items. I think I spent less than twenty dollars. So, and I also participated in the sale that Bath and Body Works had when they had the five ninety nine five ninety five sprays and the. I moved. I took the receipt out of here. It was either. $12.95 or $13.95 for the candles. So I got this candle under the sun. This one has notes of sweet coconut, sunny banana, warm jasmine. I'm getting a lot of the, the fruitiness now, but it seemed like when I was smelling it in store. It smelled kind of, um, it smelled like a perfume a little bit. It's nice. I, I'm getting a banana a lot. I don't recall getting a banana out of here. I remember the coconut once I'm reading a note and I was thinking the coconut and the jasmine. This is nice though. So that is under the sun. I only bought one. 
So you can play with that during the summertime. Funny, I didn't buy any um, candles when I went to the outlet. But what I did buy is this exfoliating glow body scrub in the scent Luminous. This is the only thing I have that's luminous. Let's see. The bubble. <laughs> can't get a... I can't get a real good smell of this. Luminous... Did it just didn't tickle my fancy? I didn't buy it. I've smelled it multiple times, but it was like I, I, it, it didn't do anything for me. I wasn't getting the hype. So it has notes of ruby currant, gilded iris, praline amber. It sounds like it would be something that it would be like, ooh, this smells so good, but. I don't know. I guess I'm getting the ruby current. I know people say this smells like either La Via Bell or Flower Bomb. And I don't have the original La Via Bell, but I've smelled it and it smelled nice to me. I like Flower Bomb, but I don't know. Anyway, I have the wash. I'll experience the scent once I use it in the wash. And like I said, this is the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. Now, I guess it has some shimmer in there. So that's nice. Then I got the Creamy Body Scrub, and this is in Butterfly. These, I don't remember the price. These may have been like 4 or $5. I'm not sure. Maybe even cheaper than that. So, yeah. Maybe everything was around $4. I know I didn't spend, I spent less than $20. So, that's Butterfly, and it has notes. Oh, Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, Airy Vanilla. This smells good. I enjoy the scent of Butterfly. I did use up uh, the spray, and I still have some of the lotion. Then I found a Butterfly fragrance spray, a purse spray. And I did not have this in my collection, so I'm glad I picked this up. I really like the violet, which is the iris. But to me, this comes across as violet in this fragrance. But I like the, the scent of the iris and the raspberry in this. So nice. And it's easy to layer with. I have quite a few fragrances that have the iris note or the violet note that I like to layer butterfly with. So that's going to be easy to use or even use by itself. And I picked up Gingham Love. This is a mini. It does not have the notes on here, but I think this has like a berry or strawberry note in it. It's like a freshy with a little bit of fruit. Or is it an apple? I don't know. The other one that I have, it's Gingham Love. Gingham something, but it's in a gold package, and I think that's apple. Yeah, so I'm not sure, but this is a version of gingham girl this is gingham love not that other one this is gingham love 
gingham hearts or something whatever and i got one of the new mini ice pound cake because people say this one smells different than the one that came out last year so i said i'll try it in the mini because i have one more full one of um ice lemon pound cake I don't know if when I first smelled it, I smelled a lot of cake and then the lemon came through. So I don't know. It still smells good. So that's iced lemon pound cake. And it smells exactly like it sounds. And then at the $5.95 sale, I bought First Sight. This is the men's collection for the wedding collection or the men's mist for the wedding collection. It has Italian bergamot, rich, rich woods, and sugared musk. I already have the candle to this, and now I have the spray. This is a Baccarat dupe. Or Baccarat-ish. I think when it dries down, the sweetness comes out, and I liked it. I sprayed it the other night, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm glad I bought this. I like it. Yeah. So if you like the Baccarat-ish type scent, Try this one out, even though it's in the men's packaging, it's good. If you're a man and you like that scent, pick this one up. Can't go wrong with it. It can layer with everything. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of smokiness in this one now. It says Rich Woods. I didn't pick up the smokiness before. Hmm. Well, anyway, I still like it. Easy to wear. I can always sweeten it up with something if it's a little bit too woodsy or smoky for me. Very good. Glad I got that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the few items that I got from the Victoria's Secret sale. They had five for 30, so they were $6 a piece. I bought five. I already took two back. I didn't, I wasn't liking them. One was like an orange pineapple, which uh, which which was under the soul, the S-O-L. I can't remember which one it was, but it was the orange and pineapple. And it's like when they do the, um, oh, like this, like the bare vanilla, the... Velvet petals, all of those. But it was the orange and yellow, which was the, I want to say mandarin and pineapple. I don't know, for what, for whatever reason, I wasn't liked it, liking it. Um, pure seduction, those. And then the other one I bought, I think it was with the line that came out with the watermelon one that smells so nice. It's like a perfumey watermelon, which I might be mixing you up because they have another one that came out with watermelon that I did not buy. Anyway, I took those back. Now, I bought this Bare Vanilla Soul. This one smells good. As you can see, I already wore it. This has sunshine, plumello, vanilla zest, and a sunny spin on bare vanilla. When I first smelled this in the store, it was like I could hardly pick up the smell. So that's why I bought them and brought them home. And then I took those other two back. This is good. This is a creamy, citrusy scent. So you're getting a lot of the sweetness. A soft sweetness from the bare vanilla mixed with that plumello. I like this. This was good. I enjoyed wearing this. 
and you'll see what I layered this with. Well, depending on when this video comes out, you might see this after you see the layering video. I'm not sure. Anyway, I bought Electric Mango. This was the one that I wanted and I had to pick up other ones. So this is Juicy Pineapple and it says spices up salty driftwood tropic like it's hot. So it's a tropical scent. And this has exotic guava, passion fruit, no mango. Isn't that weird? I remember hearing somebody say that. They was like, the electric mango doesn't have mango. But it smells like it does. All those fruits together is very tropical and pretty. It smells like a drink. I'm going to have fun with playing with this, wearing this with my summertime fragrances or warm weather fragrances. Um, probably be taking this on some of my trips with me. So that's Electric Mango. Smells good to me. And I picked up Sizzling Vanilla. This has coconut milk, sugar cane, sun musks. Add heat to sweet mango, warm sand under the foot. Now, this one has mango. It's a soft smelling scent. It's like soft and fruity. A lot of the coconut is coming out in this. The coconut and vanilla. I don't even know. On my skin, you're getting some of the fruitiness. More, sen more so than out of the top. But I did like this one, so I kept it. So those are the three that I kept. I took the other two back. And that does it for this little haul. Oh my goodness, I talked a lot. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you bought anything from any of these sales that happened over the last month, and, month, month and a half. See you later. Love you all. And remember to hashtag Glorious Gang in the comments. Bye-bye.